Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the WHD VCP2T-K HDMI extender kit. This product was designed to make it very simple for you to share any HDMI media source with a second location up to 50 feet away over a wireless connection in full HD quality. The product employs the very latest in 5G transmission technology to minimize interference and guarantee the best possible picture. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you all the components that are included with the kit. Then I'll explain some of the audio and video standards the product can support. I'll take a closer look at each of the components and explain exactly what they do. And then finally, I'll come back and actually install the product here to show you just how simple it'll be to use with your own equipment at home. So let's get started with the unboxing. Inside the box, you'll find a receiver module, an antenna for the receiver module, two transmitter modules, two power supply connections for those transmitter modules, a set of brackets you can use with the receiver module to mount it up off the ground to the bottom of a desk or a wall nearby, a power supply for the receiver module, two HDMI extension cables you can use with both of the transmitters, as well as right angle HDMI connections to take some of the strain relief off the back of the transmitter module, and then finally, a full instruction manual that gives you all the information you'll need to install the unit once you get it home. Now, if you stay tuned, I'll next explain some of the audio and video standards the product can support, and then we'll take a closer look at the components and explain what they do. The O-Ray WHD VCP-2T-K is compatible with an array of modern media devices, including video cameras, home surveillance systems, streaming devices like Roku, game consoles, and DVD players. The product supports full HD 1080p 60Hz content. It is both HDMI 1.3 and HDCP 1.2 compliant. The system allows you to have multiple transmitters with the same receiver and switch between them as needed. It utilizes a strong 5 GHz frequency for connection to reduce interference. Included with the kit is a receiver module, two transmitter modules, an antenna used with the receiver that simply threads onto the antenna stud on the back. A 5 volt DC power supply, this end plugs into the wall, the other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into a port on the back of the receiver, providing all the power you'll need. Also included is a set of mounting brackets that can be used to mount the receiver in a convenient location. Each of the transmitter modules comes with a set of cables. The video connection can be made through the short HDMI male to female connection, and also included is a right angle HDMI male to female to help you make whatever connections are needed to your equipment at home. Also included, is a DC power supply connection for each of the sender modules. USB-A on this end, micro USB on the other end. This plugs into the module, this end plugs into a standard power supply, or if you have USB-A ports on the back of your monitor or your equipment, you can plug it in there to supply all the power you'll need. And then finally, a full instruction manual that includes all the diagrams and information you'll need to connect this product up with your own equipment at home. The receiver module is designed with a full metal enclosure, which makes it extremely durable and also helps to prevent any outside interference from causing issues with the sensitive internal electronics. On either side of the module are holes that can be used to attach the brackets that are included with the kit that allow you to mount this module in a convenient location. On the front of the module, there are no connections or indicators, and on the back of the module, starting on the left, you'll find a power port, and that's used with the included power supply. You'll plug the power supply into the wall. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into this port and provides all the power you'll need for the module. To the right of that are two LED indicators. The one on the left is a transmission indicator. When you power up the receiver and power up either one of the transmitters and the connection is made between them, that will light up indicating a solid connection. There's an HDMI connection on the back that's used for connecting a monitor up to the receiver. When you connect a cable up to this, end of the monitor and power up the monitor, the receiver will sense that you've got a monitor connected. It'll check the resolution and make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. Once that validates that connection, the LED will come on, indicating a solid connection between the receiver and the local monitor. To the right of that is the antenna mounting stud. You'll use the included antenna, you'll thread it onto that stud, just finger tight, and that's all you need for the transmission. Now, there are two transmitters included with the kit as well. This is considered to be a many-to-one system, which allows you to have multiple transmitters that can both communicate with the receiver. And the way you decide which of the two transmitters you're going to use is through this switch on the top. 
So you click that switch, it'll switch between these two transmitters. Now each transmitter is exactly the same. On the front, there's an HDMI connection. This will plug into whatever media source it is you wanna share across this receiver. On the back of the transmitters, you'll find a power port here that's a micro USB connection. You use the included power cable, plug the micro USB port in here, plug the other end into a power supply. It could be a standard five volt USB power supply or a lot of media content products today have USB-A connections on them where you can actually power it from there. The minute you add power to this, the LED will come on to the right of it, indicating that you've got valid power. To the left of that is a small LED indicating transmission connection to the receiver. So once power is applied, this will come on, and as soon as the connection is made between these two, that will come on as well. And you can use either one of these transmitters with your media content, and again, switching between them is a simple matter of just pushing that button and deciding which of the two transmitters are going to currently talk to the receiver. For this demonstration, on this side of the table, I'm simulating the content you'd like to broadcast to the second location. And right now, I have two media players set up that are displaying different graphics. This one's connected to the monitor at present, and it's displaying the media center graphics. Now I'll move the HDMI cable to this one, and it'll display laptop graphics. And I did that so we can tell the difference between them, and I can show you how you can switch between transmitters just by tapping that button. On this side of the table, I'm simulating that second location where the receiver sits, where you're actually receiving the content from that primary location. Now I'll start by connecting the receiver up, and I've got an HDMI cable to the monitor that I'll connect to the HDMI output port on the receiver, and I've already plugged the power supply in, so I'll add power to the receiver. And what's happening right now is the receiver's going through a power on self-test where it's checking the internal electronics to make sure they're working okay. It's checking the connection to the monitor to see what resolution it can display. So if it has to make any adjustments to give you the best picture possible, it can do that based on the resolution. Now on the transmitter side, I've plugged in both power supplies, which are micro USB connections to the back of the transmitters, and I'll connect up the first one to the back, and I'll connect it up to the HDMI output port on my media player, which is my media device. Now, as soon as these make a connection between them, you'll see that content broadcast over there. While that's taking place, I'll actually connect up the second power supply and connect that up to the other media player. Now, what'll typically happen is when you power up both of those transmitters, whichever one comes online first and makes the connection is the content you'll see. So in this case, this is the first one I powered up. So you're seeing the media content over there. If I wanna to switch to this one, I just tap that button and it takes a second and it'll actually move to the laptop. If I wanna switch back, I tap the button on this one, which will bring me back to the media player, just like that. And it really is just that simple to connect this up over that 5G wireless connection and it gives you a lot of flexibility to choose which input source you're gonna transmit over that wireless connection to that secondary location. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray WHD VCP 2T-K HDMI extender kit helpful. It really does provide the perfect way of extending any HDMI media content in full HD quality up to 50 feet away over a single wireless connection. And the fact that it uses 5G connection technology means you're going to have a rock solid picture at that secondary location. That's it for today. So until next time, thanks for watching.